Next question is from Lamar Second. I think training biceps is the most boring thing to do in the gym. <laughs> Amen, brother. <laughs> it's Justin for yeah. sure. <laughs> do you have any advice on how to keep bicep training fun and interesting? I cannot relate to yeah, this. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot relate to this at all. I have no tips because I'm still <laughs> never, like with this guy. Never skipped yeah, bicep. Yeah, 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 so, yeah. so, okay, so here's something for you, okay? You don't like bicep training. It's boring. I get what you're talking about. Bicep training, it's a lot of isolation, single joint movements. You sound like somebody who enjoys doing the challenging functional movements or the big compound lifts. Mm -hmm. Here's the truth, okay? If you're doing heavy pulls, heavy cleans, heavy rows, heavy really, pull-ups. You, really, pull you really don't yeah. need much of it. Yeah, no. yeah, you don't need to do too much you know, bicep work. You really don't. I mean, Just sprinkle it in there. Yeah, yeah, heavy high pulls. Like, in, Okay, in the program we have on sale this month is MAP Strong, right? It's half off. In that program, there's a snatch grip high pull. Uh, that'll hammer your biceps. That's mm -hmm. going to give you great results for your biceps. In fact, as a kid, I noticed my biceps got better results from doing movements like that than from doing the uh, the you know curls and all the isolation exercises. So that's one thing you could do is is you don't necessarily need to do specific bicep work. Just throw in more heavy pulling work. Here's the other thing you can do. Okay, have some fun. Uh, doing heavy strength training with biceps. Now, I don't recommend this to everybody. But you can do this if, if you're bored. Uh, a hammer curl is a great exercise you could do with one arm where you're kind of practicing, no joke, singles and doubles. You know, arm wrestlers do this. This is a, a favorite exercise among arm wrestlers where they'll grab a heavy dumbbell and they'll do one heavy curl and let it go down real slow and they'll practice doing singles like they're practicing a deadlift or a squat. That stuff is a lot of fun. You do, you do not, uh, you know, and this, I was joking that I can't relate or answer for you, but you you do not need to do bicep curls. Uh, if you are somebody who is, if you are doing pull ups and you're deadlifting, you're doing snatch. I mean, if you are doing all those exercises, yeah, supinated rows, them, the, them biceps are getting worked. They are not getting neglected whatsoever. Now, if you said to me, Adam, I I I want better biceps, and you don't like your bicep development, and then you're also asking, I hate training them. Okay, well that's a different conversation. But if you're doing bicep curls just because you think that you need to do bicep curls or maybe you're following even one of our programs and it has bicep curls in it, but you're doing everything else, you you don't have to. That's what, that's another thing too. It's like when we talk like the the programs since day 1, right, when we created them were with the intent to mold them to you, right? Like it's the idea was to give people a very solid blueprint that if you followed it to a T, you're fine, you're set. But if you have things that are that you care about or you don't care about, to customize. So, mm -hmm. you know, if you were following a program like Maps Aesthetic or Maps Anabolic, and and where there's bicep curls in there, and you're already doing a lot of pull ups, deadlifting, and you'd rather do maybe abs inserted in there instead, or do another set of getting better at perfecting your squat, or doing some more prime mobility work because you know you need that, uh, you know, or you know, doing adding you know, carries in there because that's not an anabolic. I mean, shit, do it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Do it. Don't don't stress having to do bicep curls. That's not a that's not a a, a necessary thing to do. If you are doing good back exercises, buys are getting a good workout. Well we never really talk about some of these unconventional lifts because it's it's very uh, you're not gonna find them in the gym. Like uh it's something that's like not commonly like seen and, and that's with working with ropes and so i i've done rope climbs and i've also done uh you know rope pulls where i'm i'm in a seated position and i'm pulling the rope uh and i'm doing that over like you know a certain amount of time and man if you want to talk about like frying your arms and your biceps and and, and your grip and everything else it's it's a really challenging exercise and a lot of fun too so i mean yeah. there's there's ways you can get creative with this so uh, you know, I, I tend to be the one, like the, probably the one that gets most creative because I hate bicep curls. I think it's fucking, it's, it's boring and, and it's, mm. it's, it's a slow death for me, but, um, you know, it, it, there's lots of ways around it. Yeah. Well, okay. So here's your evidence. If you, you know, you think, oh man, you know, it's boring, but I have to do it. And, but I do do lots of heavy pull-ups and pulls and stuff like that. Like what's going to happen? The athletes with the best biceps you'll ever find anywhere, besides Gymnast. bodybuilders, right? Gymnast. yeah, besides bodybuilders and, and people lift weights, gymnasts. 
And they look, don't ever do a bicep curl. No, look at a male gymnast arms and bite. Now I know there's a there's a bit of a, a bias because they're probably genetically gifted. All. Doesn't matter though. You could tell their biceps are way more developed than uh, than any other athletes because of all the pull ups and ring work that they do. Oh, yeah. They don't do curls. I mean, I know gymnasts that some of them do some curls here and there, but that's not a staple. No, their, their muscles staple- are in such a state of tension, trying to keep stability that uh, the the contraction there the- in all those muscles that it requires is insane. Most insane biceps I've ever seen in my life was a trainer that worked for me who had done year was a was a gymnast for years and years and years. He had the most insane looking arms, and I, I remember asking him like, you know. You, how often do you do curls? Like, what's the deal? And he goes, I, I rarely ever do them. I actually don't do them that often. But he did pull-ups all the time. Right. 